Oh, 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 did you see that? You can have nowadays when it comes to being prepared for storms, a generator, but also hand in hand, a carbon monoxide detector, because if you're gonna be running a generator, there's a good chance that there's gonna be carbon monoxide in the vicinity. Worth mentioning, as I walk through my house and get closer to this door, we hit levels of almost 30. And if we just walk through the house, just a little bit. These are numbers we after we turned on the generator. And then we're just walking through the house in the same kind of pattern. And you can see the numbers drop off like 10 points at a time within intervals of two minutes. So you can see just how sensitive this instrument is. And I'm going to post the rest of this footage well after the end of this video. So you guys can see for yourself. Now, here's the deal. The generator is temporary. So it's not a normal part of your everyday lifestyle. It's not part of the, how your house was made. The infrastructure, you don't know if you have backdrafts coming in. It's extremely important to have a carbon monoxide detector, especially one like this. It's battery powered that doesn't plug in a wall so you can go to all the different locations to make sure that your family is safe. When you have a permanent generator installed, there's codes and requirements about being so far away from openable windows and just a number of other situations where you could possibly get carbon monoxide leaking back into your house. Not only is this useful for HVAC technicians to determine if your heat exchanger is bad on a furnace or something like that, but just in general as someone that wants to keep their family safe, this is an essential part of your kit when it comes to being prepared for any situation. So this is the top test CT580 and it is a carbon monoxide detector that is battery powered. It looks like it takes a USB-C. Now this is my first time opening this if you didn't know. I open things uh, without staging my videos and this thing charges with USB-C and that is pretty cool. I have not charged this yet so we're going to see how much battery it comes with it. Oh, 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 did you see that? You gotta hold the power button to turn it on. This thing looks cool. Welcome. And it's still loading. Looks like it's got some flashlights built in. It's doing its test cycle. So it's got LCD lights, buzzer, vibrator and storage and now it's loading measuring the the sensors warming up typical of the top test detectors these top test detectors i reached out to these guys they didn't reach out to me um i've kind of got a working partnership with them i don't take any compensation i just really really like the products that they put they put out at first it started off as i was a smaller youtube channel and I just wanted something different on the channel and I wanted to help out a smaller company. But these guys seriously put out quality. And I reached out to them this time and uh, basically said, what do you guys got? Because I was ready to make some videos for them. So again, we're not taking commission on this. Okay, so we've got a flashlight built in up here. That's very useful, especially if you're in the dark. Uh, we've got some functions here. Wow, this thing does a lot. Okay, so different ranges graph here versus another way of showing data. I'd like to find the back. What does the power button do? Power button goes back once. Nice. Alarm settings, event records, calibration, system settings, advanced menu, and information. We're going to keep this video very simple for you. It being top test, I already feel really confident about their products so we're not going to go into testing how sensitive this is compared to another product it has data storage uh, tft lcd color display power on self-test one to a thousand parts per million detecting three alarm types and high and low alarm threshold i think what would be cool if is if i started my generator don't recommend you do this we're going to do it for the video also by the way it did come fully charged so I don't recommend you do this. We're going to turn the generator on in our garage with the door shut and we're going to measure it. Let's go. You know, it's not bad if you're trying to look at something. This is going to help you in a situation when you are in the darkness. So it's been a minute since I turned this on. 
I keep it on this material cart so I can roll it out the door in the event of an emergency. All right, we got our lights on. Okay, so maybe just push this star button. Uh, maybe turn the gas on. Battery doesn't sound so good. Let's see here, it's been a minute. We are have to gonna use our flashlight. Now we need to make sure the fuel is on. We we might need to pull it. Let's see. Oh, battery super toast. That is pretty cool. That is more than pretty cool. Let's go in here. Let's go see what the reading is in here. Because I bet you we have carbon monoxide in this room a little bit. Just from being in the garage. Actually, you know what? I can smell. I can smell it in this room now. I'm going to turn this off. By holding this button. And I'm going to turn it back on, letting it warm up. Yeah, it still senses it in here. And I can actually smell it in here. Just a little bit. So what happens basically, right? What happens is it gets pulled in through the AC and then put around through your house. So we're going to drop off pretty quick as we get close here. But as we get closer to this room where we were at, you can see where it's going to start picking up on if I open this door. Yeah, see I can smell it in here actually and it is picking up. That is very cool top test. With the door open, we're going to stand next to the generator and see what it is. We just blew it out with a leaf blower. Okay, so you can see it here. The proof is in the pudding. We're not going to cut out any of the generator. As long as we're in the garage and we turn the generator on, that's how fast this thing ramped up to somewhat of a unsafe threatening level here it's not in the red but it is present you can see it drop off as we talk if you got a generator and you don't have one of these you're really putting your whole family at risk you don't want to go to sleep with a generator on without one of these let me know what you guys think about the ct580 and we'll see you guys in the next one you can see what we drop off pretty substantially and then as we start going back towards the kitchen, 
where the garage door is, that's the garage door there. This is towards the back of the garage, but the room where the YouTube studio is, is right, see, I can actually smell it right now. And <laughs> it starts going up right as you smell it. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool, but it is dissipating quickly. We had the garage door open and the rest will just naturally kind of dissipate. But even where we were getting, you know, 29, we're now down to 22. So if this is consistent and we did another pass, that 22 should turn into a 20 by the time we walk over here. And then this 14 will probably be even less now as I sit next to this doggy door. See if we can hit a 13. That'd be improvement. Perfect. And then we walk back over here. Going back up as we get to the door, yes. And then we're gonna start to climb right as we hit here, maybe to a 14, perfect. We go over here and let's see if we get 19. That's my prediction. Will it go to 20? Thinking about it, a little bit slower, might hit 21. Back to 20. That's uh, that's your results there, guys. Um, it's a good sensitive detector that works very well. Uh, get on Amazon, go to top test. Yeah, I absolute must have for anybody trying to protect their family. Say where. There you go. Uh, nine out of ten. I, I don't know about how long it's going to last. Longevity, blah, blah, blah. Freaking ten out of ten on performance for this video. Uh, nine out of ten just because I'm uncertain. But, uh, wow, seriously impressive.